Okay, this is a video to compare the results of these two products, Rust-Oleum Mirror Effect, uh, sold at um, uh, Home Depot, and the Krylon Looking Glass Silver, which is sold at Lowe's. Um, they both uh, claim to do the same thing, creating a mirror. Uh, if you put five very light coats on them, allow a few minutes to dry in between each coat, and uh, this is what we're we're going to be doing them on are these are these glass um, reflectors that I've stripped all the silver mirroring off of that go to a vintage traffic signal. Um, there's a few little water spots that not water spots but little spots that are in the glass that I can't seem to get out. But I'm going to overlook that. But uh, so here we go. Okay, first coat is done on each one. They appear to be the same, uh, although the sprayer for the uh, Krylon product is a stronger, more broad spray. It seems to be a little easier and quicker and more generous with the spray as than, rather than this Rust-Oleum, which is um, uh, got a little nicer button on it, but it, it just doesn't perform as well. Okay, so that's five light coats. The surface dries very quickly on uh, these. You can see this one is still drying right in front of the lens. That, that white spot or the light colored spot starting to disappear in the, in the drying process. So it takes about 60 seconds for them to dry. Um, this is the final coat, so I'll let it set for at least an hour out here in the sunlight. It's probably about 65 degrees out here um, with a little breeze. So it's, it's it's um, really good conditions to do this. Um, so far, uh, the Krylon seemed to be a little bit uh, easier to use and um, quicker. Um, I've done some others with this Rust-Oleum, but I was getting ready to run out of it, and I went over to Lowe's and ended up with the Krylon. It was a dollar or more. It was like $9 and change. This was $8 and change, the Rust-Oleum. Um, um, but I'm kind of liking this Krylon. We'll see how it looks when I flip these things over and look at the mirror. Um, these are cans are small. They're not a big can. So uh, don't be fooled. It's kind of hard to, uh, to tell. They look like a full-size spray can, but they're like half-size. So they're miniature, um, which is, is a little deceiving because when I first bought this can, I bought it online, and you can see how small it is in my hand. It's not a big can. Uh, they're only six ounces um, and if you go on Amazon you order it you think you're getting a big can I thought I was buying a big can they charged me like 15 bucks sent me this little can and uh, that's apparently that's what I ordered I didn't pay attention to the ounce um, and I could have got that over at uh, Home Depot for about eight dollars and change so I kind of screwed myself on the Amazon deal so it's, it's probably cheaper to uh, to get them at your local home improvement center. Um, they don't stock very much of it, but they do keep a, a skew for it. Um, so Krylon at Lowe's, uh, the rust product was over at Home Depot, and uh, we'll be back to see the finish. Okay, it has not been an hour, but I did, I couldn't resist, so I had to take a peek. Um, the rust performed as it did on the others. Um, you can see there's some little white spots that's my fault because these aren't pristine pieces of glass and I couldn't I stripped all kinds of silver and copper off the back of these things and I just couldn't get those spots out of the clear glass um, it spread fairly excuse me it spread pretty evenly I don't know how much you can see through the Sun um, but uh, it's a very fine mist it came out pretty good um, the reflective capability is is good. I wouldn't want this to be a mirror hanging in my home, but for a reflector and a traffic signal, it'll be more than adequate. It's conserv conservably a lot cheaper. Um, so that was the Rust-Oleum. The Krylon product goes on more generously and quicker. So what I did notice is that on this, it doesn't spray as fine a mist, and my inability and lack of experience in spraying probably caused me to overload one of the coats, probably one of the first couple of coats, because it did not 
go on as smoothly and evenly as I had expected it to. So I'm not real happy with the finish, the way it loaded up on the back, but that's probably user error. Um, you know, I was I had just sprayed with that, which was very fine. And then I picked up that can, which really, really comes out. And uh, I used the same technique, same stroke when I was laying it down. And I shouldn't have, I should have backed off of it and um, hit it from probably a, a little further distance. Um, plus you burn through the stuff quicker on that can. So I don't know how many of these I'll be able to do with that can compared to the Rust-Oleum. So um, the reflective capability seems to be greater on the Rust-Oleum product. You can even tell by the back sides. This side here has got much better shine to it rather than this side, which has got a little more of a haze. They've both been drying now for about five minutes. And you can already tell there's a difference in the shine. So the Rust-Oleum has a much more brilliant reflective capacity than the Kryolan. And uh, it's more reserved the way it comes out of the can. And I think it lays it down a little smoother, even though you, you probably got to do an extra coat or two. Um, but so that's where I'm at with this. I'm uh, probably going to finish up that Rust-Oleum and the Krylon, but if I have to go back and get another can, I'll probably end up buying the, uh, the Rust-Oleum. It's a dollar cheaper and a little tougher to find if they run out of it, but um, I think it's worth the wait. Sorry, Krylon. Thanks.